so we, uh, this, this is going to go on, uh, on, on, on my credits, right? I have something for, for SAG, something I can, I can use so I can... Uh, this is a documentary. A documentary? It might go on IMDb. Oh, I'm. Uh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, I am. I there's um, Megan Fox is on there and she's hot, and I really want to. Yeah. Mhm. Mm good. Okay, how's my hair? Is is it good? It it, it looks fine. Okay, should I put my? You know, I'm just gonna leave them here. Because this, is, this is where they live. It's, it's, this it's is where totally they are. Fine. Uh huh. <sighs> I'm afraid that you know, all these girls look all shiny on TV, and that's not me. No, Christina does not look shiny. So, where was it that you first saw Bigfoot? Um, oh, wow. Um, okay, so we, we had finished shooting for that day. I was outside of my trailer, you know, the biggest one on the lot, obviously, because I'm the star. Um, and there he was. He, it, it was. it was incredible. I couldn't believe it. I was outside having my cappuccino, um, low fat skim milk, you know, the whole, the whole yards, because I have to keep my figure. So, so Brad goes inside to take a call from, you know, his mom. Um, and there he was. He was 10 feet tall, hairier than an Italian in Little Italy in New York. I don't, I don't know if I can really relate the, the type of noise, but it, it was sort of... And then it's sort of like a dolphin at the end, you know, it... Wow. Wow. I... It was, it was hard. It was really hard. And then, you know, the noise. Just... I just don't know how to... <laughs> Can I just have a makeup break? Just... Well, um, so after that, we... <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what to do. I really, I, I was shocked and um, I felt that this is, this is history. This is part of history. I am looking at Bigfoot in his steamy, hairy eyes. Um, and, and I just didn't know whether I should take a picture with my iPhone 4G you know, or if I should, if I should call Brad, even though we're totally over, and, and you know, he has nothing to do with my life anymore, and, um, so there he was, he, he was coming close, he came closer and closer, and, um, you know, I, I, I sort of sat down my Starbucks, and I, and I looked him in the eye, and, and he gave me this, this smile, like he knew who I was, you know, from, <laughs> from the film, and I just felt so, I felt so honored, to, um, it was sort of like my first fan, you know, and he looked at me and, and I knew that, that he knew who I was and, and, and you know, then, and then it sort of just went back to, um, Uruguay, you know, that the fact that my movie will be premiered in 2013. What movie just, is that? It, it's called, it's, it's an amazing film, um, directed by Ed Sullivan, um, you know, it's, he's an actor too, but he, but he, he directed it and, it's called Little Horny Red Riding Hood in um, and the in the in the bad you know I can't even remember the name really it's it's the point is that I am in it and that it's amazing it's just it's a gem it's my first project and in a year and a half it's going to be premiering in Uruguay but but that's besides I mean that's beside the point that's the point is that Bigfoot you know, to everyone out there who says he doesn't exist, he does. And I saw him. <laughs> the moment was, I, I, we locked eyes, and with, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a connection. It was a connection. I don't know how to really, a lot of people will say, you know, hey, how do you connect with, a ten-foot monster, but in, he wasn't a monster. He wasn't. He was. He was kind. He had love behind those eyes. You know, and, and he had a recognition. Like I said, he might have been one of those, you know, monsters that goes around in people's trailers and looks through their entertainment. I, he must have known who I was because the way he looked at me was. It was imme It was immeasurable. I. They were steamy. They were dark brown and there was a soul behind them. 
what what happened in me was this was this need to be better in all of my all of my films. So Horny Red Riding Hood, like I said, is coming out in 2013, and and you know I want to promote more. I want to go and do bikini bikini car washes, and you know really get out there because this is something that that I feel so strongly about. But Bigfoot, it's sort of like seeing your, a a god, a figure that gives you strength. 